So what are the types of the electric hazards, which is the human exposed to? There are two types, the direct hazards, which is a result of direct contact with the live parts, and indirect hazards as a result of the insulation failure and the leakage current. So if we look at this, if we have here a bus bars, uh, the line one, two, three, or red, uh, yellow, and blue. Okay, the three phase and the neutral. Okay, so if a human touches this bus bar, then the current will go through the bus bar and passing through the human and to the ground. So here, the uh, hazard or the electric hazard or the electric shock is called a direct because the human touched the uh, pass bar or the live part and the current passes through it through the ground okay now another type is called the indirect hazards for example if we have an electric motor here supplied by a three phase okay for example it is a delta connection motor now you will find that uh, this part or this body the enclosure of the motor itself does not have any current normally but in case of insulation failure okay uh, for example the insulation failure of phase number two then the current a small leakage current will pass through the body of the uh, machine itself okay the body or the enclosure of the machine itself the outer surface of the machine so when a human touches this surface, the current will pass or the leakage current will pass through the human and through the ground. So this is not called a direct, but it's called indirect because it is as a result of insulation failure and leakage current. So how we can protect the human against the direct shocks and against indirect shocks? For the direct shocks, we can First, we have to insulate the life parts, okay? The bus bars should not be easily exposed to the human because anyone who touches it will uh, die from shock, okay? So we have to insulate our life parts. Number two, we have to protect the, uh, the human by putting the barriers between the, uh, or enclosures between the human and the life parts. And we can also protect the human against a direct contact by something called a residual current device or RCD. This residual current device, it senses the leakage current. Okay. When the leakage current exceeds the, uh, for example, 30 milliampere, which is the uh, value of current which will be harmful to humans, then the residual uh, current device will trip the circuit okay to protect the human now the protection against indirect shocks by the usage of earthing which we are going to discuss in this videos so what is earthing earthing is simply the process of transferring the immediate discharge of the electrical energy directly to the earth by the help of the low resistance wire Okay, so we simply take the leakage current and give it a pass through the earth by the usage of a low resistance wire. To prevent the current from flowing in the human, we allow the current to pass through the earth by the usage of a low resistance wire. The electrical earthing is done by connecting the non current carrying part of the equipment for example the enclosure which should not have any charges or the neutral of supply system to the ground as we will see in the different earthing systems the metallic frame or the enclosure of the machines is connected also to the earth because any charges which is uh, formed or any static charges which is formed on the body of the machine should be dissipated to the earth to protect of course any humans from the shock so we need to compare between 
the usage of earthing and without using uh, earthing. So first, we have here our equipment, okay? And we have here a leakage current, okay? So this wire, and we have here a live wire and a neutral wire, the live wire carrying current, and we have here an insulation failure. So leakage current will pass through the surface of or the enclosure of the electrical equipment. So when a human body touches it, then what happens? The current flows through the human like this, as you see here, then goes through the earth and then get back to the neutral. Okay, because it wants to return back to the life wire. Okay, we have here the, for example, the uh, beginning and the end. For example, during the positive cycle. Okay, we have AC, of course, but we are discussing the positive cycle as an example. So during the positive cycle, the current goes here, passing here, and some leakage current goes through the human and back to the earth through the neutral and then goes here like this back to the live wire so the current will use the human as a pass to the ground so this is an electrical system without earthing and causes of course a shock to the human body now as an example we will use the electric system with earthing now in earthing we said that we will uh, this is the enclosure or the metallic frame. We will connect this frame or the non-current carrying uh, part with the earth. Okay, with the usage of a low resistance wire. So we used here, a, if we have a leakage current, for example here a fault, then the current will pass through the body of the machine. But the human body have a resistance for example a one kilo ohm okay or it can be higher as an example of course one kilo ohm so uh, the current has two direction either to go through the human then through the earth and the back here same as here or it can choose to go through the earthing resistance okay so it chooses the earthing resistance since this resistance is from two to 5 ohm or less than 5 ohm so when the current sees a 5 ohm parallel to 1 kilo ohm it chooses of course the 5 ohm so most or 99% of the current will go through the 5 ohm like this and get back through the ground then to the life wire so the human will be protected by the usage of earthing. So this is the benefit of the using of the earthing because it protects our human against electrical shocks.